Hey guys, this video is about the redesign of my bed from turning this pallet based bed into this which is a adjustable bed and also uh, it's a bit of a call for help um, in terms of materials because I'm not an engineer so I don't know how what materials I should build it out of uh, with what method I've been thinking primarily steel but you know it's still up for grabs so thank you so my current situation is that I have a bed made out of a pallet a couple of pallets cut up and a panel uh, plywood and that makes a platform that I can sleep on but obviously getting anything underneath is really really shit and also sitting at my desk on a bed cross-legged or however is just it's just painful so i've got to fix that situation this is the bed as it currently stands trying to get to these back corners here here and here are almost impossible you've got to drag everything out of the van in order to get to them and then sitting at my desk here which is what i'm doing currently um, eventually wears on my back and it becomes difficult so I'm going to be replacing this bed uh, with hopefully something of this design so it's adjustable height the bed frame itself can rotate up or down for stowing so you could lower it raise it up or you could raise it and lower the bed so you can stow it either forwards or backwards this is the case for couch setup because you've got the soft side forward and this is for hard setup so you can put a whiteboard here a bunch of containers a bunch of different things uh, to make this work All right features what does the Joe Egg spray from the slingshot channel say it's like let me show you its features so obviously up down rotate up or rotate down as its primary tools you've got legs that fold out and are telescopic and because of the height there's two sets of legs a shorter version is for the lower side and a higher version for when you're up higher so let's put those away okay now you can imagine this is probably going to be quite heavy so when you lift this end and that end will lag slightly behind because like when you open a drawer and one side comes out first and it gets stuck so to combat that i've got a pulley system which will attach to the tops and the bottoms of these pulleys uh, of these linear rails and they'll go up across the pulley system down and then up the other side and attach to the bottom and the same on that other side and that'll allow it so that when you raise this side that side will automatically go up and then to combat the weight because it might be significantly heavy still um, to combat the weight there'll be a, a third uh, uh, steel cable attached to the top of this which will go up across to the center and attach to a spring and same with the other side up across to the center attached to that same spring and hopefully that will be able to reduce the amount of uh, weight um, if not I could probably replace that with a motor uh, and that'll allow me to maybe electronically raise and lower it but that's for another thing so this is the, probably the more complex piece on the inside it looks like this this is square steel I'll hide the cover so that's square steel and it has a block inside it and these two pins go through this six six mil steel and so that's the the stopping of the vertical play so you can lock it in place unlock it and allow it to move um, these are all skateboard wheels there's five of them in total two for the inner three for the sideways movement um, fairly simple uh, and then as long as I've got all my pin positions lined up it'll work uh, vertical frame you can see I haven't quite finished the position of the pulley it down the bottom but at the top You've got three pulleys that provide and then the spring in the middle 
which should provide enough leeway to do. The bed frame is very simple construction. It's just all 25 mil um, steel at the moment um, with extra bits added and holes added for the pins and the pulleys and such. And then underneath bed slats are IKEA bed slats. So the questions I have are, will these steel cables be enough? Um, is there, do I have to add measure the weight to get the right size cable or will it just be, will that be overkill? Um, is there any engineering friends out there who know more about construction? I've never done stuff like this before, so I need some advice on what materials to use. I've just been thinking about steel at the moment, but somebody was mentioning aluminium as a possibility. I just don't know how I would construct the object using aluminium in comparison to steel, which I can easily weld, even myself. Um, the thickness of the plates in here, I need to figure out because the shearing strength of leverage from this corner all the way to these pins is probably quite significant so i need to make sure that the steel that's that they're going into is thick enough and also that the pins themselves are thick enough so i need to sort of figure out what those pin strengths might be um, these vertical poles i need to sort of figure out how big they are i've, I've just penned them in as 25 mil but i'm pretty sure that's not enough um, but i don't know i'm, I'm not an engineer uh, and then these will just be skateboard bearings with skateboards. They're not taking a huge amount of force. Um, well, I suppose they are once the bed's in place. This one especially is probably taking quite a bit. Downward force here. Pushing on this and this. Either pulling that forward or pushing that back. Um, whether or not the spring idea and pulleys are a good idea. Whether the pulleys will be able to hold the weight. Uh, all those sorts of questions um, need answering because I want to build it fairly soon because it will change my quality of life dramatically. Um, so yeah, if you could help out with that, that'd be great. So yeah, that's it for another attempt at recording this video. Um, if you have been, thank you for watching. Uh, I keep thinking, um, I've, I watch a lot of Fully Charged. So if you have been, thank you for watching. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. I need some advice on materials, hoping somebody will help me, um, otherwise I'll just build it about well, with whatever I think is, is usable. Um, thanks very much, see ya.